Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to decrypt SSL TLS traffic uh, by creating a SSL key log file in the Windows environment variables and then putting this file to uh, Wireshark to decrypt the what is known as HTTPS traffic from example.com. So let me quickly do a packet capture for you guys. So let me close this one and open a, another site. So before going there, let me start the packet capture and let me enter. So it's capturing some data. I think it already done its job. Let me stop this and filter the TLS packets. As you can see, we can only see the hello, client hello, certification. All the things are encrypted, like application data, all over the place. So let's change this one. So as, as you can see, there is all application data. We don't even know what it is. So let's change this by creating an environment variable in Windows. So if you type environment in Windows search bar, it will go to edit the system properties and here click environment variables. And on the top bar, top section, I want you guys to create a new variable and this variable is named SSL key log file and this value will be the file path so in our case C users blind user which is my general user for victim machines C users blind user and desktop and SSL key log Set SSL key log file.exe file.txt. My bad. Okay, we have created a variable. Let's click OK. Apply OK again. Okay, let me close up Chrome again. We may need to restart. We may need to restart again, I believe. Let's restart the virtual machine. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I had some issues. I went back to a previous state of the virtual machine. And in that uh, state, I had no uh, Wireshark. <laughs> <laughs> available so we will just do go to edit and then preferences and we'll go to protocols and go down to TLS and you just have to locate the pre master secret log file name which is in our case if we go to desktop here is a SSL keylog.txt let me press OK and let's just packet capture and let's click some links let's also pass cloudflare let's also go to example.com so every website today is using https so with the help of these sl keylog files we can now packet capture and decrypt these so for a few moments it has captured over 50,000 which is wow that's that's really nice 50,000 packets so you can easily just go with use the TLS filter to filter all the things that you want we can now easily identify the servers or some header values some uh, let's say some requests 
or you can't actually really uh, decrypt all the transition transaction between uh, let's say a web server because they might be sending you let's say they are sending you the value in gzip format and uh, Wireshark cannot use gunzip uh, to unzip those files and take you there that is why uh, you need to identify hey which connection uh, uses which uh, content type so this content type is really matters here yes we can see data now we can dec uh, we have the decrypted type of data but we don't have the uh, right type of encoding here okay but you can see more when you have the SL keylog file enabled on the Wireshark. Thank you for watching guys. If you want more content about Wireshark, comment, like this video. I'll see you guys next time.